Hello everyone and a very warm welcome. In this tutorial series, we'll learn how you can create a React Virtual Code component using Power Apps Component Framework from scratch. Now, before going into the video, I wanted to share something with you. Back in 2023, approximately two years from now, I created a tutorial series which got a lot of adoption. It was about getting started with Power Apps Component Framework. Now you'll say, Clavin, why are you creating another tutorial series if you have one? This tutorial series focuses on standard code components. That means it's an HTML code component or an HTML type of control. It has basic styling information, but this is not the way you want to code at least in 2025. In 2025, you might want to create a React component. And that is what the tutorial is about. We are going to focus mainly on how you can create a React component rather than a standard component. So that being said, let's quickly get back to the slides. So firstly, if you are new to code components, what is a code component? So Microsoft Code Component or PCF lets developers create reusable custom code components in Power Apps and Power Pages. When I say Power Apps, it supports both model driven and canvas apps. These visual component usually enhance the user experiences and it can also include your business logics. This gives you better UI and it also helps you streamline your process and sometimes the standard out of box components are not sexy enough i would call them so you can make your power apps look beautiful or sexy but before you create any code components you should first visit the pcf gallery and see if there is a code component already there i want to emphasize that this is a community driven a uh, gallery or a place where multiple users, including me, go ahead and submit the components. You can simply download the components and use it. Or download the components, make changes to it and use it in your own Power Apps, Model Driven Apps or Power Pages. I want to directly get into a demo, but before that, you need to understand that you need to have some tooling in place. You need to have an IDE, that is Visual Studio Code. You need to have Node.js, latest LTE version downloaded. You need to have the Microsoft Power Platform CLI tools installed. You need to have the .NET build command, which comes with Visual Studio 2019, 2022, and, or you can just download it from the internet. I have it ready so that we can jump into the tutorial. So let me quickly open my Visual Studio code. So in Visual Studio code, if I go to extensions, I have my Power Platform tools installed out here. Okay, so that's what I have. I also have the .NET build tools installed. I have the latest Node version installed on my computer. I'm not sure if it's the latest, but let's quickly check. If you are unaware that the Node version is installed, you can just type in Node-version and it should return you node dash dash version and it should return you the version of node installed on your computer on my it is 18.2 i also do a bit of spfx development and this is the version which is supported by spfx so i'll leave it there but you can have the latest lte out here so here i can type type in pack <clears throat> so pack stands for power apps cli or command line to be honest, it doesn't really matter. What we need to do is we need to go ahead and use pack and then we need to go ahead and use PCF. So we need to go ahead and use pack PCF. At this point, I want to, if I hit enter, it will tell me what next to do. Now understand this, if I type in pack in it, it will actually initialize a project. But what I want to do is that I want to initialize a React project. So I'm going to copy a command and paste it in because you don't want me to struggle when I'm typing. And if you see, I typed in pack PCF in it. I gave my project a name and I gave it a namespace and then I gave it a field. So you already know what we are going to create out here. We are going to create a counter. 
a grounder which looks good. However, before creating the counter, we'll also understand the basics. So here, my friends, if you see, this has been created and it is running npm install for me. Once it has been installed, it will go ahead and create our first component. And it will create a React component because I have used FW React out here. So let's wait, it, depending on your machine, it takes around two to three minutes. Perfect, it did not take two to three minutes, it completed real soon. So at this time, what I can do is that if I type in npm run build, this will build my project. So if I type in npm start watch, this should actually open my development space in the browser, right? It will launch my PCF in the browser. So this is how my PCF component looks like. It tells me hello power apps. I can give it a container width and a container height and I can pass in a value. If I pass in a value right now, it does nothing, but we will understand how you can pass the value into the component from the property pane or the property bag. And I think that's pretty much it for the first tutorial. <clears throat> in the next tutorial, we'll understand the project structure. We will also go ahead and understand the various files that you will be working with and we'll make some code changes as well. Thank you for joining me for the first tutorial. See you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.